Mary. Shut up! It was funny once, now stop! Why are you still laughing? Knock it off! Merry <laughs> I hate you so much. No, that's not how interest goes. You sit down and watch. You can't, you can't talk over me. Okay. Jake, this is the funny bloopers as it is. Stop it. Merry Christmas, Interweb. I am the American Berserker. And today I am on some Robo... And today I am playing some Robocraft. Now, I was going to do a Warframe uh, Christmas special. Uh, well, not necessarily special, but Update 19 is out. And I guess I was going to talk about that, I guess. But, uh, you see, I was looking at one of my uh, fellow YouTubers, a... What's his name? Swag Minotaur, I think it was. And I realized he had some, uh, or he was posting some YouTube videos on uh, Robocraft. I played Robocraft before, and my last account, which I was completely responsible with when it came to money, uh, was uh, not deleted, but... Well, let's just say I couldn't bring that account back from the debt I was in. So I got a new account, and so far I've got three really good robots on. Uh, well, one's in a working progress, and then there's this prototype. And I tried a gameplay of the game itself, but it was very dull because I had nothing to talk about. So uh, I, so after um, trying to build a flyer, I'm like, well, why don't I just make a video about uh, the flyer I'm building? Maybe test it out. Maybe bring it into battle. So. Before we get into this, I want to show you guys my um, other robots I have created. First, we have Geiger Gator. This is sort of in the uh, process of being finished. It packs a punch. It is a tank of tanks. As an, it's a tank. I mean, obviously the tracks and everything, but I mean it packs the same punch as a tank would pack, and uh, it works. It works really well. Unfortunately, it lacks an armor. It's sort of a glass cannon, and in this game, tanks like this uh, cannot afford to be glass cannons, or at least that's from my experience. So testing phase, packs a punch, it needs armor. Next we have Centipede. It, I know it says Centhawk down there, but that's because I had the hawk head on there originally. Um, I also ran out of premium, so if you, um, so as you notice, some of my robots have a uh, premium colors on. And I don't have premium, but uh. Yeah, this guy is not a tank, but he can definitely, since he's so big, like, he's taking up half the, uh, trust me, he's a, he's a pretty big robot. Um, since he's so big, he can take a bunch of damage and get away, uh, he can't take out like a tank can. He can't keep fighting after he's taken a bunch of damage. If he takes a bunch of damage, he's gotta use that time to get away from a fight. He can't stand fight because, you know, his, uh, guns are up here. But he's very fun to play because how I use him is I would use these things to uh, take off key components to my enemy and then just fly in and tear them apart, what's ever left of them, with uh, these two guns on the bottom. Very one of my f uh, He's the most fun mech to fly, um, but he is not my favorite. This is Rhino. This one I'm actually going to have to go into the thingy to show you, though. So this is Rhino. Um, I built him from the default mech you get uh, when you first start the game. Uh, I don't think there's anything left original about him. I think the original mech was uh, is gone now. I've, I bet I replaced everything on him. But yeah, this guy is a tank tank. I He can take a beating and give a beating. And he is an all, he's also an all-range uh, mech, too. I mean, he's better at close and mid-range, but if he wants to fight long-range, he can. I do not use a railgun for long range. I mean, I do sometimes, you know, to, like, be annoying. But I normally use it as, like, a uh, burst damage weapon. Uh, mainly in mid to close range. I'll be, like, picking away at somebody with the machine guns, and they'll just use that to take a huge chunk of their health off. And then, uh, continue the small burst damage, the big, I mean, the small continuous damage, and then one big burst. It's very, it's... it's it's effective. It's the same as throwing jab, jab, uppercut, jab, jab, uppercut. If anyone who boxes knows what I'm talking about. Anyway, so let's get back to uh, this prototype build. Now, what I'm... Ooh, I like, oh, I like that. I like that. Now, what I am thinking of doing... Well, I want to make this a healing mech. Um, but for some reason, I cannot keep him in the air. He's heavy or something, so I'm just going to sell... <clears throat> oh, excuse me, a few of these components here, and try to get something 
bigger out of it. Alright, so I got two large engines here. Uh, hopefully that will keep me aloft. Do I have any other engines? No. Um, now, I was thinking of a way to how it's going to maybe start off. Like, I don't have enough CPU for landing gear. Crap. CPU for landing gear? Not CPU. A space. I don't have enough space for landing gears. Like little sled things. So I guess I'm going to have to maybe use hover. Uh, I don't... It doesn't have to be something big. It's just got to be... There we go. I'm going to do it. And then I'm going to put one over here. I'm not really caring if they uh, stay on or not. I'm not going to worry about shielding these because they're not going to stay on. They're just so it makes taking off a whole lot easier. Uh, there we got that. And I'm hoping I'm just going to put on the uh, weapons or heal guns for test. Because I want to make sure I can equip these and not be too top heavy or too heavy to take off. Okay, so far so good. Oh, okay, going straight up is not the best idea. Let's try to go down here. Eww. Take off! Okay, so we got a good hover going on here. But flying-wise, we're not doing too good. And I don't know if being too heavy has anything to do with it. I mean, I guess so. I think we might have to make this a hover tank instead of a flyer. Because this is not working out the way I wanted it to. Alright, so after some testing, I think I might need to make this another kind of vehicle. Because making it a flyer is not working. Thankfully, I have enough materials and the right materials to make uh, something else. I don't want to make it a tank, but I want to make it something all-terrain, maybe. And if I had, like, maybe th four more, five more of these, I would make it a car. But I think I'm going to stick with maybe another helicopter. Of course, this helicopter is going to be strictly a helicopter and not a hybrid. Now, I might need to put thrusters on this helicopter just for speed and whatnot. I might sell those big thrusters I have right now. Let's make it something like an attack helicopter. Alright, I'm hoping this looks a little bit more like a cockpit. Maybe one more up, uh, I guess. I'm hoping this doesn't capsize on me when I start it up. All right, to me, to me that looks somewhat like a uh, a attack helicopter. Of course, I might need to do a little twerking right up here. So far, I'm liking where it's going. I know some people, the non-creative ones, the feminists, triggered. <laughs> I'm kidding, but I know it might not look like a anything at the moment, but trust me, when I am done, it will look beautiful. Alright, that's looking a little bit better, well to me at least. You know what I think it needs? Alright, now what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be doing that thing again with where I take the, uh, oh wait, yeah, where I take the blocks, I'm gonna, like, take that one out, and then just fill it in because since the healing guns are pretty wide, so they'll kind of be like, you know, the missiles that hang off the side of the uh, helicopter, which I just think is so cool. The only problem I'm having here is I don't know... Ah, uh, crap. I think I might need to improvise with, with this part, or something like that. Okay, okay, I think I know, I know how to do this. I know what I'm doing. No, I don't. I think I like that one part better. It's not perfect, but at least it semi-fits. Ooh, actually I like that. But yeah, so I don't like how flat it is there, but I'm fine with that. So let's work on the back now. It's like playing with Legos. I am liking this so far. It definitely looks helicopterish now. I mean, maybe... I'm going to keep the eagle. <laughs> I mean, if it gets in the way, I'll, I might remove it. But I'm going to keep the eagle. Uh, I like this so far. This looks nice. Ever since I discovered, discovered these little pyramid pieces, I've fallen in love with them. I love how they have a piece for everything. It all fits. I love it. I mean, look, look. I cannot do that. I didn't have this piece. This, is, this game. I, I mean, the last time I played this game, it was a mess. Uh, in the sense of actually, my, it was a mess. Like uh, I explained before, with uh, how I lost, not necessarily lost. Yeah. 
like I kind of went into debt with my uh, money is that I kept buying and selling things and since you sell things for less than they really are I kind of sold too much and didn't have enough money to like you know make anything that was a problem for me um, definitely gonna do this but now that a from what I've seen um, they don't let you sell things like they don't let you sell like uh, gosh sorry if I'm stuttering stumbling like I tried to sell these two legs, uh, the starter, the first starter legs, uh, you, get, you have two of them, and I try to sell them, but it wouldn't let me, and that was the same for the wheels and a few guns. So even if you run out of money, like you sell too much, and you are not making enough back, you're not at a loss, because you can at least start from something, you know, which is a complete downgrade, but you can still work your way back up to where you were. So I think that's very clever how they fixed that, and I'm glad they did. So yeah, I was thinking of maybe, uh, if he responds to me, my, uh, swag. So yeah, I like all games, which I think, I've think I, I think I've said this in every video so far that I've made. I want to get a friend in here, <laughs> um, to maybe play it with me, because every, let's face it, every game is more fun with friends, and no one can deny that, except feminists. I'm sorry, I'm very salty toward feminists, I don't see any good in them. Um... Well, that's not true. Uh, a radical feminist, I don't see anything good in. Feminists themselves, I'm fine with. I'm all about freedom for... And, yeah. I'm all about uh, equal rights for men and women. That's looking real sexy. Perfect! Now, can I put a pyramid piece here? I can! <laughs> Actually, do I like that? I do like that. Would look better with, uh... Rectangle though. Uh, eh. You know, I think I'm just gonna put the PMB just for sake of uh, I'm gonna put the PMB piece here just for the sake of style. Oh yeah, that's looking hot. Am I all out of quarter pieces? I guess I have to buy some more. I mean, I was kind of, kind of hoping to avoid spending anything, uh, cause I'm already at thirteen thousand. Um, it's not hard to get back. I just play a bunch of rounds, and uh, just sell whatever I get from the crates. Which, thank goodness, anyone can get crates instead of, uh, cause I've, I've like just ended premium today, and even without premium, I still get crates. So, hopefully, it's not just a Christmas thing, and you get crates all year round, because that is, it's super helpful. Just having a steady source of some kind of income. This thing is... I mean, I might take the eagle head off and put an actual top front on it, maybe. But, oh my word, for all you haters out there, said it wouldn't work. Ha 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 ha. I don't know who would be saying that. Let's test this out. Alright, so here we are in the test simulator. <sighs> it flies! And it works a whole lot better than the, uh, first model. Yeah, uh, yeah, it flies really well. I mean, it doesn't have the same kind of maneuverability as my, uh, Mantis does, well, Centipede does, but that's because the Centipede kind of has more of a, it has rocket boosters on it and everything, but I like it. I mean, I'm going to put some shielding on it. I might buy some shielding after a few matches, but yeah, so far I'm liking it. I might take that heel head off. So... Thank you guys for watching. Um, in later videos, I will actually show you gameplay. Um, this is kind of more like a, not necessarily a test, but like I said, I tried to do some my own. I tried to do some my own editing. Oh, I missed some blocks there. But yeah, I tried to do some of my own uh, gameplay in a fight, but I could not think of any content uh, to make in that fight, which made it really dull. So next time, I'll try to get some friends on um, and play with them or something. Yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then, uh, well, you know what to do. Um, yeah, thanks for guys for watching. Merry Christmas, uh, Happy New Year to one and all, and I will see you all in the next video. Uh, peace out.